Hey guys, it's me, Megan Hashem. Today, I wanted to go over two basic lower body exercises. When I say basic, I don't mean basic. I mean, they are the foundation behind all great legs and butts. They're the foundation behind any other lower body exercises. So I feel the squat and the lunge and to some degree the deadlift, but we're not gonna touch that today. That'll be a whole other video. Squats and lunges are it, right? I mean, a lot of people complain about not being able to do a squat and or a lunge. And so I wanna help you out there with your knee placement, your foot placement, where you're at, what you're doing, because I see a lot of people squatting and lunging wrong. Okay, so I wanna help a little bit with the form. I love squats. I love lunges and I want you to love them too. There's like a million variations of squats and lunges to target different parts of your thigh and butt. But I'm gonna go over the basic squat and basic lunge. We can start without weight. So we're really focusing on our form and what we're doing and what we're squeezing and how we should stand and where your knees should be, okay? So of course, once we're done learning, we can add some weight either if you have weight at home, if you're at a gym, or if you wanna just pick up anything, a heavy container of kitty litter, or a big water bottle, or whatever you want. You can pick up anything, your child. Um, so let's learn to squat and lunge properly, and then I will do a very simple yet effective workout with just basic squat and basic lunge and lots of them. They've been around for a long time and there's a reason for that because they're super effective and amazing at shaping those legs, shaping that butt. You can get lots of weight going with them once you know what you're doing with your form. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're the foundation of everything. So let's get to them. Are you ready to squat? I know I am. Basic squat, our feet are about hip width apart. Okay, so right under your hips. Not too wide, not too narrow, unless you're doing a specialty squat, which I have other videos on those. We're gonna just do the basic squat, and so our legs are hip width apart. We're gonna put our weight into our heels, okay? So not in your toes. You really want that weight in your heels. And we're gonna come down, keeping your knees over your toes, not buckling in, not buckling out, not going like this, okay? So keeping your body pushing that bum back like you're gonna sit down in a chair. So start with just a small motion like that and just get the feeling of your bum sitting down into a chair, nice flat back. Here I am, profile. Bum sitting in the chair, flat back. Just a small motion like you're gonna sit onto a bench or a chair there, okay? And you can even try it with a bench or a chair if you want, right? So here, sitting, coming up, making sure that your weight is in your heels right now and you're controlling that motion and pushing up into the glutes as you come up. So you're sitting down, you have a flat back, and then you're coming up. So try that without the seat now. Small motion, just the top of it. I'm not saying to go low yet. All right, so we're here. Kick that butt back. Come down slowly to about here, and then push up and squeeze the butt as you push through those heels, okay? So toes can be slightly pointing out if you want. Definitely not in. They could be straight, they could be pointing out a bit. Everyone's body is a little different, so just try what works for you. So you might need to play around with this. When I first started squats, I had about a year of trying to figure out how to squat properly for me. Okay, now we're gonna try and go a little lower if you feel okay there. Coming down lower, making sure your knees are over your toes, okay? Pushing through, not using your knees to push through. So coming down, pushing through your heels up the back of your body there. Okay, here and squeeze. Slow and controlled. You can put your arms out if you want. You can put your arms anywhere you want really. <laughs> 
I'm usually like here, like praying, like, oh my gosh. All right. So there's our basic squat. Keep breathing. And now let's try a lunge. I find lunges a little more challenging than squats. And especially when you're moving your foot all the time, trying to get to the right place. So I'm gonna start us with stationary lunges, not walking lunges, not alternating lunges, just staying stationary in one spot and lunging. We're gonna get our foot to the spot we want it to be in, which is fairly wide, and then we're not gonna move it, okay? I personally love alternating lunges, but I've been doing lunges for 20 years or more, so <laughs> if you're just starting out with lunges, then I recommend doing this, going into the right position and just lunging, 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 10 lunges, however many lunges we're doing, and then switching feet. So then you only have to reposition once, okay? So you don't have to keep being like, I hope I'm at the right place, am I at the right place? <laughs> so you're gonna take a large step either forward or back, the weight is in the front heel. Make sure your weight is not all in your toe like this, okay? So weight is in that front heel. You should be able to pick up the toe, actually. And take that large step. You wanna be able to, here we are straight, you wanna be able to bend that knee and be at about a 90 degree angle here. Knee is never ever over the toe, and you've probably heard that. You never wanna be like this. A lot of people do lunges like this. They don't take a big enough step and then they go like this and their knee is lurching over their toe and that doesn't feel good, that's not good for you and it won't work the right muscles. So large step, weight in the heel, Tight abs, always thinking tight abs, tight core before starting a motion, okay? And the back heel is off the ground, that's fine. We're coming straight down and pushing through that heel up. Straight down, tight abs, pushing through that heel up. Make sure both feet are pointing forward. Make sure you're not lurching forward, you're just going down by bending, coming up. Down by bending, coming up. Maybe you're not going so low. Start small, right? Make sure you feel it in the right spot. Try the other side, taking that big step, weight is in the front heel, and coming down, pushing up. So nice and controlled, down and up, down and up, down, straight down. None of this, none of this. <laughs> it's usually this, it's usually this. Don't do this, okay? Just come straight down, drop it down, up. Drop it down, up. Drop it down, you should be feeling it. <laughs> Drop it down and up. If you wanted to carry some weights or water bottles, you could be holding them like this. If you wanted to try the alternating, you can also try that. Once you get awesome at them. <laughs> it's just sometimes when you're a beginner with lunges, it's hard to get to the right spot, that far distance. So you don't wanna to have to keep doing that. You want to get comfortable first. All right, so let's start a little two exercise workout. Here we go. Squats and lunges, no variations. Squats and lunges all the way. Here we go, guys. All right, so we're starting with our basic squats. Let's go. Okay, make sure you're not going like this. 
That isn't good. Okay. <laughs> so high chest. It's lunchtime. So get into your position. And we're going down. by Evolution and Creation, my Adidas Stan Smiths in Ice Blue. 